Apple just dropped iOS 26 public beta. And like any tech enthusiast, I couldn't resist installing it early. But let me tell you something, being first comes at a cost. My iPhone went from a smooth daily driver to something I couldn't even rely on to get through half a day. Within the first day, the battery life tanked. I went from charging overnight to charging two, sometimes three times a day. But then came the breaking point something that made me realize I couldn't stick to this beta. My wireless power bank, the one that I use daily, completely stopped working. Naturally, I wanted to downgrade back to iOS 18. But here's the thing, Apple doesn't make it that easy. You either follow a complicated multi-step process or you find an alternative. So I went down the YouTube rabbit hole. The traditional way to downgrade is a bit of a headache. Step one, you gotta connect the iPhone to a Mac or a PC and perform a full encrypted backup so logins, health data, and app settings are included. Note that certain apps like WhatsApp may require a separate in-app backup. Step two, you have to download the correct iOS 18 IPSW file for the exact iPhone model that you have. And finding it from a trusted source is a little bit difficult if you're a beginner. And also selecting the wrong file means starting over. And if Apple stops signing that version, the restore will fail. Step three, you have to enter the phone into DFU mode. If you don't enter your phone into DFU mode, iTunes doesn't allow you to downgrade and you have to constantly either upgrade or restore to the current version of iOS. And in order to put the phone in DFU mode, you have to follow these steps. First up, connect the iPhone to the computer with Finder or iTunes open. Quickly press volume up, then quickly press volume down. Hold the side button for about 10 seconds until the screen goes black. Press and hold volume down for five seconds. If done correctly, the phone enters DFU mode and the computer will prompt you to update or restore the phone. The catch, this is all about timing and pressing the right buttons. It took me multiple attempts to get it right, because if you miss the window by a second or accidentally press a wrong button, you'll just end up in a loop that you have to start all over again. Step 4. In Finder or iTunes, hold Option on Mac or Shift on Windows while clicking restore iPhone. Then select the correct IPSW. The restore process typically takes 10 to 20 minutes. Once the phone reboots on iOS 18, choose restore from this computer and select the backup. If the backup was created on iOS 26, some data or settings may not transfer perfectly due to version differences. In my case, this is where everything fell apart. iTunes suddenly asked me to enter my backup password before it would proceed, something that wasn't in the plan. And the problem was, even though I was entering the correct password, it wouldn't accept it. This was completely unscripted, completely unplanned. And because of that bug, the backup wouldn't restore. So yes, I got back to iOS 18, but my entire backup was gone. Photos, chats, all wiped. That's the risk with this manual method. You can do everything right and still lose everything because of one glitch. And now onto the second method, which I call the easy way. It's a software called Dr. Phone System Repair by Wondershare. It is a paid app, but if you want a hassle-free experience, it's worth every penny. And let me show you how easy it is to use it. Step one, open Dr. Phone and connect the iPhone with a cable. Use the built-in backup tool to create a full device backup Backup, including apps like WhatsApp without needing separate manual steps. Step two, from the menu, select the system repair option, then choose the option to downgrade from iOS 26 to iOS 18. Step three, Dr. Phone automatically identifies the correct iOS firmware for the specific device model and it downloads it directly. No need to search online or verifying signing status. Step four, click repair to begin the downgrade. The software handles all technical steps. You can even see it put the phone in DFU mode and take control without requiring manual button combinations or iTunes interaction. Step five, when the phone restarts on iOS 18, use Dr. Phone's restore function to bring back all saved data exactly as it was. Apps, settings, photos, and chat histories. And that's it. The phone is back on iOS 18 with battery being stable, wireless charging working, and nothing missing. 
No stress, no late night troubleshooting. If you're already on iOS 26 beta and it's driving you crazy, this is the method I recommend. If you're thinking of installing it, maybe wait until the bugs settle down. I'd love to hear your experience. What's the worst bug you've hit so far on iOS 26? Drop it in the comments, I'll be reading through them. And until the next video, ka ciao!